Andy Alexander Day. If you have not tried this incredibly tasty alcoholic drink, Brandy Alexander Day on January 21st is curated just for you. Held annually, Brandy Alexander Day celebrates a drink known as Brandy Alexander, which is made from creme de cacao, cream and brandy, most often of the cognac variety. Everyone agrees that this drink is a mouth-watering classic, but their opinion about its origin is less harmonious. A portion of historians believes the brandy Alexander came about after a bartender named Troy Alexander had a brainwave. He worked at the Rector Hotel in New York and is said to have created this drink just after the turn of century for a celebration. As the story goes, there was to be a dinner celebrating a fictional character used in railroad advertisements, Phoebe Snow. Troy wanted to create a white drink for this occasion to play on the character's name. The rest is history. Another version of events goes further back, well into the 18th century. The oldest daughter of King George V and Queen Mary, Princess Mary was marrying Viscount Lascelles, and this drink was thought up for the wedding celebration. A popular theory also says this drink had another, earlier version which used gin rather than cognac or brandy. It was also called Alexander. Whatever its origins, this drink became immensely popular in the 19th century, particularly after it was mentioned in the movie Days of Wine and Roses. The brandy Alexander was also former Beatles member John Lennon's favorite drink, which he would call milkshake. He was introduced to this drink by American singer-songwriter Harry Nilsson during Lennon's famous Lost Weekend, the period of his life that marked the separation between himself and his wife. Upon Lennon's first introduction to the string, the pair famously got widely drunk and were thrown out of a nightclub in Los Angeles. Just like the origins of the drink, the history of the day is a mystery too, at least for now. To celebrate the day, check out original recipes online and experiment in the kitchen, or go out and order the ring at a bar that makes them.